Did you know that people who participate in tennis three hours per week cut their risk of death in half from any cause? This is according to the study published in the New England Journal of Medicine by Dr. Ralph Papenberger from February 25th, 1993. All because of learning how to use this 27 inch long chunk of graphite and Kevlar. My artifact is a tennis racket, which is the primary tool that tennis players throughout the world use to play tennis. Tennis represents the culture that I've been a part of for most of my life. I played competitive tennis from the ages of 12 to 27, and I still teach it as my part-time job. This racket is, for me, what a scalpel is to a surgeon. Many of you likely enjoy the great weather we have here in Southern California while making new friends and improving our health. I'll show you how tennis can be instrumental in doing that today. This racket and the culture that's used in is what has shaped my strengths as a person. I'm gonna tell you four main things about tennis today. I'm gonna to tell you how this racket relates to my culture of tennis. I'll tell you how you can enjoy tennis and receive physical and social benefits. I'm gonna tell you the life benefits that I've received by playing tennis. And finally, I'm gonna tell you about the unbreakable bonds that tennis has helped me uh, achieve. Let me start by talking about how this racket relates to the sport of tennis. Rackets are the tools that tennis players use to play tennis. You use the racket to hit the ball over the net to your opponent's side of the court. Hopefully you can land it within the lines. And if the ball is not returned back to you, you win the point. You win enough points, you win the match. Now, over the last 30 or 40 years, there have been advances in technology regarding the materials such as the graphite or polyester strings that have made rackets lighter, bigger, and more powerful. This has made it easier for novices to pick up the game and enjoy it. My own racket weighs around 370 grams and has a head size of 100 square inches. Moving on to my second point, all of you can enjoy the physical and social benefits that tennis has to offer. Participating in tennis meets the intensity criteria suggested by the American Heart Association to develop and maintain cardiorespiratory fitness, according to a study published in the Journal of the American Heart Association by Dr. William Haskell, PhD, August 28, 2007. All of you can join leagues, school teams, and play tournaments to meet new people, travel, perhaps around the world, and engage in one-on-one -on -one competition with your opponent. Next, I'm gonna tell you about the benefits that I've received as a result of being a part of this uh, tennis culture. Playing professional tennis has given me skills and experiences that will last for the rest of my life. As a tennis player, you have to learn to manage your stress simply because during a match, you're exposed to tremendous amounts of physical and emotional pressure. Now, when I'm playing a, uh, when I'm playing when I was playing matches on the pro circuit, uh, you're not allowed to receive any coaching during the match. Additionally, I traveled to many places to play tournaments, and some of these places were less than desirable. As a result of that, I developed tremendous amounts of mental strength. Another skill that tennis has taught me is to sacrifice instant gratification and look at the big picture. Now, while my friends were going out, hanging out at the beach, and enjoying nightlife. I was working on different aspects of my game, making sure that I was getting physically fitter and eating properly in order to fuel my body in order to compete better. C.S. Lewis, a great poet, said, failures are the finger posts on the road to achievement. It's only by losing tennis matches do you learn what you need to do in order to improve. Losing made me better, losing made me stronger. Finally, tennis has helped build bonds for me that will last for a lifetime. Tennis has created and strengthened bonds, and it has brought me closer to my family. My dad brought me, my dad bought me my first racket, introduced me to tennis, and taught me how to play. Throughout the course of my life, I've leaned on him for support and advice, and this will continue as a result of this racket and the sport of tennis. I met my half-brother for the first time in 2010. When he found out that I was a tennis player, he was eager to get me to teach him how to play tennis. 
using this racket, I taught him how to play it, and eventually his children as well. And this has brought us closer together. Additionally, I've made friends and become a more positive person as a result of playing tennis. I met my best friend in the whole world at a tournament when I was 14 years old. We went on to play on the professional circuit together, and now, even though a continent separates us, we still communicate on a weekly basis and remain best of friends. In his book, The Exercise Habit, Dr. Jim Gavin from 2007 states that tennis outperforms most other sports, such as inline skating, golf, in developing positive personality characteristics. So in conclusion, these rackets are the tools that we tennis players use. All of you can enjoy the benefits of tennis. Tennis has served to give me innumerable life skills that I can use, and tennis has served to help me break, make unbreakable bonds with both family and friends. This racket and the culture that it's a part of is responsible for shaping the strengths that make me the person that I am today. When you pick up this racket, you join a culture that you can become a part of for a lifetime. With our great weather here in Southern California, access to absolutely free facilities, including the one right here on campus, you too can take up this, join this culture. Take the plunge, take up tennis, reap the benefits. Thank you.